Yo guys, what's going on? I'm Jake, <clears throat> aka Lax. Uh, welcome back. This is our first AMA for the Bearded Bean Coffee Company. So what I'm doing is I'm allowing you guys to pull questions uh, from the Discord. There is a direct server. Uh, it's titled AMA. So if you haven't asked me anything question, whether it's about the business, how it operates, or what my thoughts were on whatever you want, um, you can ask it in that server. And I'll pull one of those questions, whichever one's the favorite. And I'm going to ask it, and I'm going to answer it every week. Um, so what I'm kind of hoping to do is just add more value to everything that you guys already have access to, give you some more free content, and uh, find a really cool way to interact with you guys on a video scale. Um, so this week's question comes from my buddy Vlad. You can find him on Twitter at FNHVlad, or you can find him on Twitch at Friendly Neighborhood Vlad. And his question, he wanted to know why coffee and what got me started into the coffee business in the first place. Pretty valid question. Um, I like to be straight up and blunt and honest with people, and I like to go into details on certain things, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, it didn't quite start out with coffee. It didn't start that way. That wasn't the first thing, that wasn't the first venture that I ever did. Um, I'd worked with various gaming teams and organizations. Uh, I've worked as a graphic designer, I've worked as a digital artist, worked as a photographer, worked as a model, been on TV, uh, worked internationally. I've done a lot of stuff. And I kind of decided after enough time that I was tired of working under other people. I decided that I was tired of working on somebody else's dream and I wanted to work on my own dream. So that's primarily what gave me the drive to want to do something that was my own. So I started looking around at all of my markets. I started to look around at what the popular markets were. I wanted to look around and see what was a product that I was familiar with that I knew I was good at selling in a product that had a good ROI on it, um, a very stable market, something that doesn't ever really change depending on how the market goes, whether it's a bear or a bull market. Um, after enough time, after enough consideration, um, I was literally sitting at my desk and drinking coffee and it wasn't very good. And I kind of... <sighs> What I literally did was I looked down at my cup and it just kind of came together. And I said, you know what? I can sell coffee, man. Because I like it. I know a lot about it already. It's a $2 billion a year market. So the industry is there. It's in high demand. All I have to do is make it my own. So that's what I did. Um, so I spent roughly nine or ten months sourcing products, sourcing vendors, sourcing various different companies that can provide what I knew that I wanted to provide to you guys, um, and finally landed on one that I was really happy with, one that would get me what I wanted to offer you guys, give me exactly what I needed to offer you guys, um, so I signed up with them. So they provide all of my supply. I tell them what I need. I tell them how much of it I need. Um, then I pay them to, to handle that work. I pay them to handle the roasting process. They, that's my distributor. Um, so they'll handle the roasting and the shipping process. I do all the website design work. I built the store from the ground up, bit by bit. I designed all the graphics myself. Um, and I created everything from scratch. I even got into the SEO um, all by myself. Had no idea how to do it. I just looked up a couple videos and I wanted to know exactly how do I how do I get the most reach for the smallest amount of resources that I have because anybody who knows startups are hard. Startups are difficult. But the really cool thing about today as opposed to like 10 years ago about startups. If you look at Amazon, Jeff Bezos always said that he grinded it out every day for seven years before he broke even. And he just started selling books online. And it was kind of one of those things where 
at first when Jeff would tell people what he was doing and what Amazon does, they were just kind of like, what? Why would you sell books online when we can just go to a library? Um, and it was one of those things that I know from my perspective, if that were me, I would have been looking at how the internet was revolutionizing things. And hearing that questioning tone every time, I would have been smiling in the back of my mind saying, just you guys wait. This is smart and this is going to work. Um, and as you guys know, Amazon is our country's biggest retailer and uh, it's successful. And it's kind of a similar style is that everybody knows that they can go to the grocery store and buy coffee. But the problem with it is you're going to get what you pay for. And that happens with a lot of things, not just coffee. Sure, you can certainly go to the grocery store and you can spend five or six bucks on a 12 ounce blend of some dark roast. But let me ask you this, what's in it? Where does it come from? How is it sourced? How is it roasted? Is there any other artificial flavorings? Are there any other artificial colorings? Is there anything fake about it? Chances are that coffee that you spend uh, five or six bucks on 12 ounces for probably has all of those things. Is Some of it is fake. Some of it's artificial. Artificial flavors, artificial colorings, uh, preservatives. Some stuff that we all know is generally not good for us to have. My coffee is 100% coffee. There's no additives, there's no flavors, there's no colors, there's no preservatives in it. It's just coffee. It's just really, really good coffee. Um, I spent a lot of time really focusing on the quality and on the flavor and on the sourcing and where it all comes from. So I was able to locate about a dozen retailers um, from all over the country that were all fair trade. And what fair trade means is that the workers who were on the farms, uh, whether they're picking the beans or roasting the beans or doing the grinding process, whatever it is, they get paid a fair living wage so that they can go home at the end of the day and at the end of the week pick up their paycheck. And it's a substantial paycheck so they can take care of their families and they can raise their families and they can advance their lives. So not only have I found a way to deliver AAA rated or better grade coffee than what you'll ever get in any grocery store anywhere. Um, I also sourced it from right now 13 different countries around the world. Um, it's going to look like 12. I may cut one out. Um, but also the taste, you can't compare it to anything else because it's real. All of the flavors that come out in those coffee beans come out because of the soil that they're grown in. It has a lot to do with the soil, the acidity of the, of the soil, the minerals in the soil, and even the trade winds that blow through that particular area all comprises and makes up this certain special flavor blend. And I went through and I sourced these for you guys because I wanted you guys to basically get a taste of the world and see what was out there and have a good quality blend to be able to do that and really enjoy it. And in my perspective, I kind of feel like when you have a good, affordable, quality coffee like that, it kind of, it makes your day better, man. It really, really does. That first sip that you take in the morning when you wake up and you have your coffee, and you shake your head and you do that whole ah, noise, you know you've got a really good thing going. So I ordered my own samples in. Um, and once I shipped those in, I did a lot of taste testing. I had my wife try some and pretty much fell in love with it from the get-go. It was absolutely, it was incredible. When you have good quality stuff, you don't ever want to go back because the other stuff just honestly tastes like cardboard. And it really, really does. So it was a multitude of things that really led me into the coffee market and into the beverage industry if you want to call it that um, but this was an area that like I said I knew the market I knew what the margins were I knew what the profit was I knew what the ROI was I know how to market and advertise um, I watched my fair share of people like Gary V and Tony Robbins and everybody else that gives you those inspiring things and give you those tools to learn and grow I never 
took a business class. Um, I never took a programming class. I never took a class on CSS or SEO or digital marketing or digital advertising or graphic design or anything. I'm completely self-taught on all of this. So this is a venture that I'm taking on a lot right along with you guys. And what I mean by that is that I'm asking you guys to switch your brand familiarity and your brand loyalty and take on a new venture because I'm also taking on a new venture and being able to provide a really, really cool service to you guys at a really affordable cost. Um, so it's new to all of us. It's new to everybody. Um, it's, it's exciting, man. I love it. I love it. This, this is the thing that I'm supposed to do and I know that because I'm good at it and I can wake up and I think about it every day. And in my mind and in my opinion, is that when you wake up and that first thing that you think about is probably a thing that you should be doing. I don't want to have to go to some some place that I have no vested interest in working a job that I absolutely hate just to get a paycheck. In my mind, the way that correlates is that it just makes me feel like a wage slave because that's what I am. I'm not doing what I, what I love. I'm not doing something that inspires me I'm not doing something that challenges me every day it's just the same mundane task every day and it's depressing and that may not speak to everybody but I think that it speaks to a lot more people out there than what we realize this business is a way for me to create a better life for my family and myself um, it's it's a way for me to learn how the world really really works it's a way for me to learn how to get in touch with new people, learn how to grow my own personal market, and learn how to turn the brand, uh, the Bearded Bean, not just into a brand, but also into a personal community. From my experience, it seems to be working really, really well. We're growing steadily, things are improving, and I'm improving the website day by day. And I want you guys to come along on that ride with me. I hope that you do. This coffee is great. I'm not going to say that just because I own the company. It's just really good quality stuff. And I want you guys to enjoy it too. So come along, come over, look at the website. It's beardedbeancoffeecompany.com. You can find all the info and the information underneath the video. Go look around at all the blends. Find a find a blend that you think you'll really really like. Try it out and at checkout use the checkout code BEARD10 and you're going to get 10% off. It's as simple as that. Thank you, Vlad, for your question. I appreciate you, man, and everything you've done for me. Vlad's helped me out a lot. He's a good friend of mine, and I appreciate that guy. Um, thank you guys for watching. Next week, we're going to do another AMA. I'll tell you how to get in touch with me to get those questions through. So I'll pick one next week, and we'll roll with it, and we'll get the next question down. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. This is Jake. I'm out.